was a and double. Now we hear her. She wanted it. And it's the year of Romeo on the LPBT tour. Ball fearless, Kelly. Yes, she does. Janet O'Keefe is going to win this one. That she does what she has to do to win. In the year 2010, President Barack Obama, midway through his first term as President of the United States, announced the end of Operation Iraqi Freedom, which meant that all remaining U.S. troops would leave Iraq by the end of 2011. A BP drilling rig off the coast of Louisiana exploded, causing the worst oil spill in history, as tens of thousands of gallons of oil per hour spilled into the ocean as the world worked frantically to find a solution to cap off the flow. Kobe Bryant led the Los Angeles Lakers to their 16th NBA championship, defeating their arch rivals, the Boston Celtics, for the NBA title in an epic seven-game series. In music, a couple of ladies were on top of the world, with Lady Gaga's Fame and Lady Annabellum's Need You Now albums both dominating the charts. And in a year where superhero franchise films and animated sequels dominated the box office, Christopher Nolan's incredibly original thriller, Inception, was a mind-bending treat that gave adults a perfect alternative to the tide of kiddie movies. And Kelly Kulik, in spite of the PWBA tour being gone for seven years, somehow found a way to accomplish more in just three tournaments than most bowlers could hope to achieve in a lifetime. Kelly Kulik grew up in Union, New Jersey, and was an excellent softball player, in addition to being one of the top junior bowlers in the area. She became a star at Moorhead State University, leading the team to one of the most memorable national championships in bowling history. National champs. Wow, there they are. Moorhead State University. After graduation, Kulik competed on Team USA and was named the International Amateur Bowler of the Year before she decided to join the PWBA Tour in 2001. She would earn Rookie of the Year honors that year after making an impressive nine TV finals in 23 events and would win her first pro title in 2003 at the U.S. Women's Open. But soon after her first win, the tour ceased operations and Kulik, on the advice of her mother, decided to stay involved in the sport and pursue competitive opportunities in PBA events against the men. In 2006, Kulik became the first woman ever to earn a full season exemption on the PBA Tour. She would also continue competing in the two annual women's major events and would win the USBC Queens for the first time in 2007. Her next big wins would come in the 2009 PBA Women's Series when she took home the Shark Championship and then the Women's World Championship, the latter of which gave her an invitation to the 2010 Tours Marquee Event, the PBA Tournament of Champions. Kulik would parlay the invitation into a finals appearance setting up one of the most widely watched TV broadcasts in PBA history. Today, Kelly Kula can become the first woman to ever win a PBA Tour title. But this isn't just any PBA title. This is the Tournament of Champions. As the number two seed, Kulik would take on Mika Koivunyemi, a recent PBA Player of the Year winner in the semifinal match. Needs just seven for the win and a move to the title match. After defeating Koivunyemi, Kulik moved on to face reigning PBA Player of the Year Chris Barnes for the title. A historic strike for Kulik and for women's sports in general. How about five in a row? How about that, America? Stand up! Her win led to a wave of publicity for Kulik and she would ride the momentum into that year's USBC Queens Finals. There you go. She's done it. Kelly Kulik has won her second Queens title. What a year. After taking home the Queens, Kulik would then qualify for the finals of the US Women's Open just a few weeks later. Push. All those things she asked for, she got. And that's the way this year has been for Kelly Kulik. In just three tournaments, 
Hewlett earned more prize money than most top players earned in a full season on the former PWBA Tour. And her complete dominance in 2010 immediately put her in the conversation for consideration among women's bowling's all-time greats. But it was her inspiring 2010 performance in just three events that put her on our list as the fifth greatest season in PWBA history.